problems, there's alternative ways to solve particular problems. And this one right here, the standard way would be probably to subtract 4 thirds from both sides and then do some multiplication, maybe cross multiply with the proportions. But I'm going to show you a technique on this video that is going to make this one uh, a little bit easier, but it'll make ones in the future that are more complicated far easier. Okay, in this case we have 2 equals 4 thirds minus 5 over x. So what I'm going to choose to do strategically is I'm going to multiply through on both sides by the least common denominator, namely 3x. So 3 in the bottom of the 4 thirds and x in the bottom of 5. What does it do for me? Notice that 2 times 3x is 6x. 3x times 4 thirds would have the 3's cancel out, so you would be left with 4x. And 3x times 5 over x would have the x's cancel out, and so you'd be left with 5 times 3, which is 15. Notice that now it's a, an equation that doesn't have any fractions in it, and so the calculation should be much easier. In fact, I'll put in all our little steps here and just say, say 6x minus 4x is 2x. All that's left over here is a negative 15. And then when we divide by 2, we end up seeing that x equals negative 15 halves. So it's a nice little technique, and it works in all problems, even when you get more complicated denominators, uh, no matter how complicated they become. So why don't you pause the video and try this out, especially if you've never tried a technique like that before. Try to do it on this one that has 4 plus 9 over z equals 5 halves. And assuming you paused the video and gave it a shot here, well, what would the LCD of the Z and the 2 be? That would be 2Z. Multiplying through, 4 times 2Z is 8Z. On the second one, the Z's would cancel, leaving us with 9 times 2, which is 18. And then in the last spot, on the other side of the equal sign, the 2's would cancel, and we'd be left with 5 times z, and so that's 5z. Okay, as a general habit, I always move my variables to the left, or I should say, not always, but most of the time. So I'm going to subtract 5z from both sides, and simultaneously subtract 18. So it's going to move my variables to the left, and it's going to cancel these out. 8z minus 5z is 3z and negative 18. And so when you divide by 3 here, it looks like we're getting a final answer of z equals negative 6 